Hey guys, so today I'm doing something a bit different that I haven't done before but I've actually wanted to do for a while now and it's a bit like a lookbook sort of thing. I actually saw a similar thing on Zoella's channel where she went for a holiday in Spain or something and so she filmed every day of what her outfit was or her outfit changes and so I thought I would do a week in what I wear for writing things. I just also like to include that I don't usually wear this sort of thing heaps so this is kind of just making me want to wear my good things more which is good because otherwise why do I have it? So it's kind of like helping me get used to out of the things that I should be wearing more often and also just kind of looking at some different brands that I really like. So first off today I have the second day of a clinic. It is with Jamie Coleman and I'm riding Jerry because the other horse that I am riding with is a one star horse. I did really want to bring Dexter but unfortunately I could not because it was a one star lesson so you know. So yeah, anyway I have my Navy Charles Owen helmet. I have been wearing Charles Owens since legit 2012 and I was very cringe back then but I always had a good helmet. I've had a lot of Charles Owens since then so I had that one which was a GR8 which was like suede everywhere and there were no vents at all which was great for the middle of Australian summer. So from there I was like I'm going to pass out if I keep riding in this helmet. So I got one with the vent in the middle, which I think this is a AYR8. And then from there I got a brown one because I was changing to brown gear. And I got a brown one which was two sizes too big because it compacted. It became really big so I had to get inserts in it but it still is too big for me so I need to get another one. And then I got another brown one but it completely went missing, I don't know where it went. And then I got this one recently, which I really like the navy in colour. And I just kind of coordinate the navy with other navy things that I have because I'm fashion af. I hate myself. <laughs> so from there I have this Tommy Hilfiger v-neck <laughs> and a solid pimple that I just popped before. Sweet! Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and I love this top. I got it recently when I was in the US and some solid bra action going on here. But yeah, I love riding in these sort of v-neck tops because they're so much more comfortable than a polo and it makes it more tanned around instead of just like this area here that gets tanned. So yeah, I really like these types of tops for riding in now. And then from there... We have my belt which I got from a place, a local place. It was handmade from there and it's just got these running horses all over it. And then of course, of course, of course, we have my Procure breeches and these are just my two-tone brown ones. So brown, darker brown. And I really like these ones. These are probably my favourite pair at the moment. Just in colour, but they're all very comfortable. They all fit me really well. And then I just have my Challenge boots. I think they're Challenge, Ariat Challenge field boots. I've had these for a number of years. I got them, I think, in 2012 as well. And I just use them for shows for a few years. But now they're my paddock boots and they're actually holding up really well. So yeah. Now on to now on to seeing some nice pretty videos. Now on to seeing some crisp low light lens videos of this outfit and tomorrow I actually have a lesson with my instructor so once again I will put on nice clothes and show you guys. So I thought I'd also just quickly say I'm using these Roco navy and white glitters like that. Everything in this is currently damp that's why the floor has nothing on it because Mum filled up the water tank for me and it overflowed, so yeah, I'm just drying everything out. So these are like slightly damp right now, but yeah, uh, these Roco gloves to like match my helmet because oh my god, fashion. 
Uh, yeah, uh, which I really like things with white piping. I think it looks bougie ass. I always find with Roquel's this hand bit always kind of goes a bit gross. Uh, it's a bit interesting. But yeah, I've had these not for that long. Roquel gloves don't last that long. I have a lot of them, like literally a lot of pairs of Roquel gloves. I also have a few pairs of these. I don't know what brand they are. I can't read out the brand. I'm so bad at brand names. Hacken Schmidt Finest Gloves. I have a few pairs of these. These tend to last a lot longer. Also, never buy Roquel's from Horseland. I always buy them online because they're so much cheaper from Horseland and places in Australia they are like $90, which is way too expensive. And these are not worth $90 when they, you know, go like this within a number of months. Uh, but that being said, gloves do tend to wear out pretty fast because, you know, you're using your hands a lot when you ride. I match this top a bit with my corn blue saddle blanket, which is currently drying because it's slightly similar, but probably not similar enough, but you know, whatever. I also just wanted to say that these brooches, Picure brooches, they are not nearly as expensive as everyone, at least in Australia, thinks. They are so much cheaper from equine and country. I think they're around 200-ish with the exchange rate and with shipping and stuff, it always comes to around 200 for me and like around three, 350 for two pairs, which is like not expensive at all compared to how expensive they are around here and at tax shops and stuff in Australia, which is like four or 500, three to 500 for a pair of breeches, which is insane. And Equiline, you can also find other places that they're a lot cheaper. Look at places that will ship to Australia for around $40 and you will find the same sort of stuff a lot cheaper because a lot of Australian saddleries put a huge price on them when they do not need to. Hey guys, so this is today's look. I'm actually wearing a Lululemon, I believe, or Lorna Jane. I will post down below. A sun shirt, uh, very much yellow as you can tell. It's definitely one of the brightest shirts I wear while riding now. And then I am wearing this belt from wild horse feathers or I think it's called horse feathers gifts now and it has to infinity and beyond as you can see on it I forgot to put it in my belt collection video to be honest and I'm wearing this pair of Picure breeches with this darker channel on the side of them and I really like these breeches but not as much as my other more simple brown ones that I have from Picure and then I'm wearing my very basic challenge boots that I always wear because I'm just, it's just another day at home riding. And yeah, this is a really simple one and one so you don't get sunburnt. And it's got these like thumb things in it, which sometimes rip, I found, but so far so good with this one. My sister actually gave me this. And if you want to be ho, you can be ho. <laughs> If you want to be conservative, you can be really conservative, like that. So, you know, or in other words, you can, you know, get a better tan or you can not get a tan at all. I like to keep it mid done because, you know, I'm a bit of both. I'm like, got my phone like this so I can see if it's in the right spot. Hey guys, it is day three of showing you what I am riding in. And I'm not riding in this because it is so warm, even though it's quite a cool day. But today I had a lesson at 7 on deck, so I had to get up at 5.30, which was just ace. So I wore this there because it's nice and warm. And I haven't actually memorized the brand yet, but I really like this jacket. Even though some of the seams are kind of, like, as you can see there, it's kind of coming out some of the stuff inside and some of the stitching isn't so flash but I really like how like I don't know modern this kind of color sheet scheme this color scheme is I'm trying to find the brand of this it is and my makeup on the inside of course it's Esperado 
which I think is fairly new because I hadn't ever heard of it before. Oh, there we go. Esperado Sports Experience. But yeah, it's got some like stitching coming out in the arms, but it's still quite a nice jacket. And I don't think it was that expensive compared to some other brands. Heading down from there, we can see a little bit of bra there. Wow, how explicit. We've got uh, this Gucci belt that I recently got, and it's actually the first ever time I've got a brand item. And basically, I saw all the Insta gals wearing one, and they all had the thousand dollar one uh, like the actual women's gucci belt and i was like no way so i got the children's one and i got the largest children's one which is actually elastic which just as well it is because i'll show how tight it is that is like where it actually is on me thankfully fits me fairly well i can stretch it so it literally can go pretty much to the last hole yeah, I could do that on my waist if I want to clinch my waist, you know, but these are quite low rise breeches, so I have it on the loosest one. And I really like this belt. I've only just recently started wearing it and I don't like wearing it outside in just like, you know, regular shops because I don't want to be pretentious and I don't know quite why I got it, but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I just want to get like one brand thing you know in my life and so I'm just gonna get this you know what I'm just gonna get it and I got it in the children's one because screw paying like a thousand dollars for the women's one and then I've got these B vertigo breeches which I also got in the US and I'm not sure exactly what this color is but it's pretty cool I really like how different it is and I've definitely never seen any breeches this color before Oh my god, this is literally like an all new things outfit. And then these boots I also got in the US. They're the Ariat Heritage, potentially, boots. They're the ones with this on the side. And I found they're so much softer than my challenge boots. I got my challenge ones from a country that is currently at war, I believe. And I don't know how I quite did that, but I got the cheapest ones on eBay. And I had to wait. I bought them in... February and I got them in December so that's how long it took for me to get my tall boots when I got my other tall boots but yeah these are well I got them in America as I said because I didn't want to take mine across the world to use them in the US I wanted a new pair anyway so I just got a new pair in the US and sorry about the tripod by the way so this is today's outfit Hey guys, it's Saturday now and I am preparing for a show actually today and today I'm actually on the Equipad Snapchat so I am posting for the next like, well for this weekend on their Snapchat so yeah, uh, I may do this again so you guys should head over and follow Equipad on Snapchat and today I'm wearing something a bit cooler because it's a lot warmer today than the rest of the week so I have this Stussy top on or tee on which I got fairly recently and then I'm wearing this belt that I got in the US and I got it from Greenhawk Saddlery and then I'm wearing my old Pecures that I've had for a while now and they're still going strong and they're so comfy as with all my pecures literally. I haven't put my boots on yet but I'll just be using my normal challenge boots but I am wearing these, I don't know what they are, socks probably like Dublin or something. Dublin socks actually last a while surprisingly and then I am wearing these shoes which are from Skechers and I wear them all the time around the barn. I got them from the US recently as well. They're so comfy. They're literally the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn, ever. And yeah, this is just my simple outfit today. And I'll be using a saddle blanket. I'll be using this saddle blanket because it matches so nicely. So as you can see, red, a red trim. A navy for my navy breeches works so well so yeah that's just my quick one today for the warmer weather hey guys so today I'm quite obviously showing I actually have a combined training competition which is 
running the show jumping before the dressage and that's because in this show, by the way I'm getting sick that's why my voice is a bit funny, they're running this event for the first time so they could only afford an EVA 65 and EVA 80 course, so well, cross country course, so for everyone else it was just combined training so that meant most of the classes have the show jumping before the dressage so I'm in my show jumping attire which is obviously brown <laughs> what a surprise and so I got my Charles on GR8 helmet with the gold in brown with the gold in the middle and in a uh, with leather look obviously and then I don't actually know what this brand is of my show shirt I'll link it in the description when I find it out because I'm not too sure and then I got my Animo jacket, which I'm busting out of. Let's be serious. I got about two sizes too small because it was the last one in stock. And I was like, I'm in love with it. I want it. And it is the Animo Lovely jacket. I could only find it in Germany, so I bought it in Germany. And I got Jerry's old owner to ship it over for me. So, yeah. This is the Animo Lovely. It's got the purple detailing, not a fan of purple to be honest with horses, but it's an animal jacket so whatever. And then of course I have my favourite competition breeches which are really nice and cool as well, which are the Equiline breeches. I don't know the exact make of them, but I know they're obviously Equiline. All the Equiline ones have that black triangle there with the vent. And then I got my Secchiari boots on my brown ones. I got them from Equiporium, I think, either Equiporium or Equiport. I got them like two years ago now. I got them ages ago, but I know a few places in Australia now stock them, but I'd still probably buy from overseas because it's a little bit cheaper just so. But yeah, uh, I love these boots. I love them so much, but they are a bit small for me, like a bit short, which sucks, but they're very comfy and they're a little bit big in the toe area because I find that's like what square toes are like. Anyway, so now I'm going to get changed into my dressage attire because uh, I've just finished my show jumping, so let's go. Oh, I forgot to say my gloves. My gloves are Hauken Schmidt again. I think I've already done a, a look with these on, not too sure, but I just, I can't actually remember where I got them, but I know Chaballo does have them in South Australia, but you can probably get them online as well. They're cheaper. Just saying. <laughs> Sponsor me! You know, I'm such a good promoter. Okay, so I am now completely ready for dressage. Almost. I don't actually have my black tall boots on. They're just the normal Sekiari boots that I was wearing before. Because I don't have them on me currently, so I... And I'm rushing a little bit, so I'm just rushing to get on. So I thought I would just quickly do it with these boots on. So yeah, I'm wearing my navy leather look Charles on now and the same shirt because why would I bother changing it? Uh, I guess I could say the same with my jacket but my jacket is so tight and a bit unconventional in my opinion. And then I've got my new jacket that I just got from Animo. I would say it's probably a size too big. I want one size up because the other one was way too small as you could see but they made their sizing bigger so this one's like probably one size too big so I should have just got the same size as the other one but yeah hello register the Animo logo it's not going to it's too bright but yeah this one I still do really like although some people don't like it I'm not a fan of this pocket thing I don't know I've I might darken it actually. Oh no, I've got the mark on it. But I do like this kind of interesting texturing on it. And I do like these sideways pockets, they're quite funky. And again, like my old Spooks one, it has the elbow patches. Boom! And yeah, same breeches. I didn't show you before, they have these arrow things as the silicon which is interesting and the gloves I am wearing are the Roquel navy and white piping gloves. Bit. Let's move that, that down. 
and this is what happens with Oreco gloves. This hand thing on them always gets a bit old and gross, which is a shame, but yeah. Matches my helmet way more than my jacket. I find this navy is way more blue than actual navy for this jacket, but I still really like it. Still is a nice, pretty jacket. I thought I'd just also quickly show you what my show shirt looks like. It's got like this lacing detail on it. I got it from the three day event last year. I always get my show shirts from there because they always have nice ones. Yeah, it's like two layers, which is pretty warm, but this is like only one layer, the arm, which is interesting. Oh, and I should say I didn't actually vlog this weekend. Sorry, I was kind of filming for the Equipad Snapchat, so I didn't actually get to film like vlogging because that would have been way too much work for a one day event where I have to do like, you know, four events in one day. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's outfit. Hey guys, so today as you can probably tell, I now have a cold. Thanks Kiv for this cold. It's awesome so far and you can really hear it in my voice. Anyway, so today is a really quite warm day. It's so pretty though so nice outside and I'm wearing this Aztec diamond it has a few stains on it because I find with this it really attracts stains and stuff probably also because like grease and stuff shows up on it heaps because of the material and I've been using coconut oil and stuff in my hair recently to try and make it less frizzy but yeah so it's, and it really shows up your bra because this is literally a sports bra and it wouldn't show up at all usually but with this yes it does and it's the metal base layer from Aztec Diamond but I do really like it and it's so flattering and it has like these these <laughs> I hate my voice at the moment <laughs> it's breaking all the time and then I'm wearing my RM Williams belt, which you can see a bit better now, as opposed to in my tour video. So you can see there. And then the breeches I'm wearing are my Monta breeches. And I these are the most recent pair of breeches. Oh no, second most recent pair of breeches that I've got recently. Uh, the last ones were my V Vertigos in America. But I got these from Just Riding. I will link in the description where you can get them because they're really nice. They're horseshoe silicon, as you can tell, and they're full seat. And I'm just wearing my boots that I always wear, my Challenge Field boots. And yeah, I really like this outfit. It's like super classy today. Yes. Yeah, I will link the Just Riding in the description because you can actually get, I think, a bit off if you go in through my link because I buy from them quite often so yeah I will double check but the link will be in the description but yeah I just love this this bow is really small though really small so yeah I'm going to try not die from it being really warm so pretty Thought I would just quickly show what it looks like all together because I really like this look. So the problem with these breeches is they show up obviously a lot of marks on them because they are beige. But I really like this colour of beige, how it's like kind of like a grey beige, not just like kind of yellowy, if that makes sense. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a shoot for the start box and for ooh, the um clothing or t-shirts that I'm bringing out. I am announcing that actually in this video I will be selling t-shirts at the three day event and then the leftovers after and then I'll be doing some different designs and stuff. That's kind of the new thing that I've decided to do and yeah I'm really excited to be honest to do it and it's just like embroidery kind of small stuff for now and kind of quirky things because that's what I like doing. Anyway, so we've just finished the shoot and I am wearing this Aventa 
shirt from the Starbucks. These breeches are so high, so it's really hard to see the whole Aventa thing. But yeah, this was look number one, or the last look that we did, and this Pampiano belt. And then, of course, my favorite boots, my Secchiari, yeah, and then my House of Monta breeches. And I'll show you the second look with my own shirts. I've got two of them, just two different colors, and I've got them from size extra small to large. So. Yeah, and they run kind of big, like a little bit big. Not as big as this though. This is extra small and it's really big. Okay, so now this is one of my shirts and I'm just sitting down because I'm friggin' exhausted. Uh, I was wearing this with a different belt. I will find that for you. I was wearing it with this belt, which I think matches so nicely. But yeah, this is the first one of, well, the first colour of the shirt that I am selling at the three day and online after at the start box, I think. I don't know, otherwise I'll make my own website. But anyway, so it's got this baby pink logo, which is actually Dexter jumping at Naracourt. It's a digitised image of him jumping with obviously a wine barrel instead of the show jumping fence and I got rid of me because I didn't want to have me in it so yes so this is the first I can't remember the exact technical name for this color I think it was just like khaki or something like that it doesn't go the best on my shade of skin my tone of skin is just not that great for dark green but I do actually really like it and it definitely will look a lot nicer on other people and as I said I have it in extra small to large so yeah if anyone's interested and I will now put on the other one for you so you can see that color and this is the other shirt which I really like the color of and this color goes a bit better on me and I did the embroidery in white obviously on this one and this one, the neckline, ooh, a bit crooked, the neckline is a bit lower, so the logo is actually in a bit lower spot, which I do prefer, but I know that for next time now to do the logos a little bit smaller. But I really like these, and I like these two colours. It took a lot to digitise this. It wasn't great for embroidery, so I went with doing the barrel with having the same colour as the shirt as the, I don't know, what are they called? Not stays, because that's the wooden bit. The rings around it. And yeah, there's little Dexter jumping. And yeah, eventually I will do a Jerry one and I have a few other ideas for some more comical ones, which I hope you guys will enjoy. But I hope you like this one. And this is, yeah, I'm pretty excited to do something like this because I've wanted to do this for years. If you look at my wardrobe, you'll see a million different ideas from over the years of t-shirt designs and designs of like hoodies and stuff that I did myself with like embroidery company, well I did online with like printing companies and that sort of thing, but I actually know the people that do this, so that is good. So yeah, I hope you like them. I know I will definitely be repping this heaps. I do like t-shirts a lot more than polos now but I probably will you know think of doing a polo later on but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys at the three day event or for next week's video not sure what it is bye